Hey everybody, I started playing a couple new games, not TTRPGs, but little phone games on the app Timu, and in the last few weeks, I have won a bunch of free stuff, and I mean a whole bunch of free stuff. I've been getting these orange Timu packages twice a week, and it's to the point where I don't even know what's inside these things until I open them now. Usually it's dice though, check this out. I got these sweet hollow metal dice with the dragon motif, and then I won these cool black on matte black dice, then I won a different kind of hollow metal dice with the dragon motif, and then to change it up, the next time I got to pick a free prize, I went for these iridescent rainbow oil slick looking hollow metal dice with the dragon motif. So with all of these free dice showing up at my door, I decided to win me a couple kinds of cool dice bags, like this kind of basic dragon themed one, and this faux leather one with a dragon's eye on it. Of course, then it only really made sense to start winning a free dice tower, and then a creepier dice tower for when you know, the moment calls for a little drama. By then, I was kind of in a rhythm, and I knew I wanted to tell you guys about this, so I went after more dice and got these double metal hollow dice and this rechargeable light-up LED set. Now, it's not all just shiny math rocks on there. There's a whole bunch of different categories of products you can win. I got some netting to keep birds from eating the berries off of our bushes. And then there's like a peace offering to them. This cool little like solar powered fountain pump for the bird bath, which legitimately works, but really does require full sun. Let's see, I won a notebook that was actually way bigger than I expected expected and a set of headphones because my current ones are nice, but they've been like shedding all over me. Uh, those haven't arrived yet, but they had a lot of good reviews and again, totally free. What else? What else? Oh yeah. I also won this awesome monitor with a little help from some of you. So thank you very much for that. So I'm telling you all of this, not just to like show off, but to show you that with a little bit of strategy and a little bit of patience, you can win stuff like this too. Use my link down below to download Timu if you don't have it already. This will get new users a bunch of like coupons and the prices are crazy good if you want to purchase some things. That's what it's, you know, all actually been built for. I've made a couple purchases too and I got some great deals. I'm going to try to figure out how to link like all of the items I've mentioned in the description as well. Um, the sign up link will definitely be down there and probably links to these items if you want to check them out. Now on to the games. There are a bunch of games in this app and at first I thought these were unwinnable and just here to like up your screen time and get you to spend more minutes and therefore more money on Timu and I'm sure for some people that's exactly how it all works out but I've never been one to waste a lot of money shopping however I am the kind of guy who will waste a lot of time trying to figure stuff out and as you can see from the hundreds of dollars of free stuff that has been coming my way and like a month, just a little under a month, I think I figured Timu out. Now listen, I'm not sure if I would have spent so much time if I hadn't decided to like come out here and explain to you how to get some awesome free dice and such, and had I spent the same amount of time, you know, earning money at a decent wage, even a not so decent wage, I would definitely have more cool dice to show for my efforts and probably some cash left over. But look, playing a game is not the same thing as working. I was playing while watching TV or like waiting online at the store or even using the bathroom. Plus, I had some fun doing it. So let's get into how you can win some free stuff. First off, the way I see it, there are two main types of games on Timu. The first one, which is most of what is on offer, requires you to share the app with new users. For each person who downloads Timu for the first time, you get credit. And if you get enough people within a 24 hour period, you win. Hat trick or three free items seems to give you the chance at the biggest prizes. That's how I got my hands on that awesome monitor. Now, when I did it, it took about eight to 10 people clicking on my link and signing up to win. I had actually picked out a different monitor at first. And when I won, it went, oops, your item is out of stock. And I was like, oh man, nah. I knew it, this is a scam. But then they just gave me credit for the value of all of the stuff I had won. And I got to spend it on anything I wanted. When you choose what you're trying to win, you don't have access to like their whole inventory of items. I don't know how they determine what you get to choose from, but I do know it's based on, you know, what you've looked at in the past and it's always different. So if you have your eyes on something special and you don't get to choose it, you know, this time around, think about letting the clock run out and trying again 
tomorrow before you go bothering everyone you know to download this app that they've never heard of because it can be a challenge to get 10 or so people. I guess it depends on how many people you know and how invested in a sense of digital security they are because a lot of people are going to think you've been hacked when you randomly start messaging them about some app from China. And on that note, it's been a month and my identity hasn't been stolen and I haven't found, you know, Timu asking for weird permissions on my phone. Is it possible the Chinese government now knows I like weird nerd stuff? I guess so. But I'm already on TikTok and it's nothing the NSA and Amazon and Zuckerberg don't know anyway. And they seem in a much better position to actually use that information it's the 21st century and i will gamble with the dumb game that gets me free stuff before i put a camera on my front door or my vacuum cleaner but to each their own speaking of tiktok someone asked me if i was worried about like the ethics of how these guys keep their prices so low and the short answer is yes but the long answer is i'm worried about everything so it kind of comes out in the wash my phone was built next door to where the monitor came from is it worse to get something free out of one company because you're smart and patient or to hand the other company a thousand dollars every couple of years without really thinking about it am i supporting a company by teaching people how to get free stuff from them i honestly i don't know gang but these are the kinds of things you might end up thinking about and talking about if you go out there and try to bring new folks on Timu. And if you don't get enough and fall just one new user short, that's it. You are starting from zero tomorrow. So that brings me to the other kind of game on here. The one that gives you longer timelines and are winnable without bringing in new people. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you know I really like to like dig into things and spell it all out for beginners, and that was my plan originally, but I have learned over these weeks that these games are constantly changing. In the couple of weeks I was prepping to talk about this, two of the games I was going to focus on have been phased out, I think. Don't worry, the ones that I have been consistently winning are still around, at least for now, and those are Fishland and Farmland, but those also keep changing i don't know if it like levels you up each time you win or they just change things up every so often but by the time you see this these games might be different or there might be different games entirely so i'm going to focus on like the more generalized meta strategies i've used to keep free stuff and orange timu packages arriving on my doorstep first one is easy look for synergies the games are simple Acquire resource, spend resource. And there are a bunch of different ways to acquire the resource, say by sharing a link to the game. And you can do this a bunch of times a day, each day. So bonus points if you can find a way to share it without annoying everybody. You can also get resources by browsing the catalog, searching for the game itself in the app, simple stuff. But you'll often see rounds where you'll get bonuses, say extra fish food for feeding X amount of fish or extra water for watering Y amount of crops. So you wanna save your resources until you are getting bonuses for spending them. Sometimes that can even mean sandbagging until the next day if you've already like completed all of your bonuses. These games also give you bonus resources when you make a purchase. I also found out that when you use credits, it also counts as a purchase, but it still registers for both games. Pretty sweet. Now, you don't have to purchase things to win if you are patient and smart, but the games are built to feel like they take forever in order to make you just like give up and buy the things. <laughs> Remember, this isn't a game we've like paid for. It's a marketplace trying to sell us stuff. It's set up so you feel like you are 90% of the way there in like a few clicks and then 99% of the way there after the next like little batch of tasks. Then it can take a month to fill up that remaining 1% if you play the game every day. Now, if these were super fun games, that might still sound great. What other phone games are sending you real life prizes? Come on. But you should know that at least I don't think these games are super fun themselves. Again, to each their own, but they are very simple. And I just laid out like the highest level strategy in what, like 30 seconds, 60 seconds. So why am I even talking about this? Why did I keep playing? And how did I win so much faster? Because you can fill up the bar a lot faster if you get existing users to click your link. It will still take time. You won't win tomorrow, but existing users is the key to winning. And in my opinion, is actually where all the fun of these games lie. 
because an existing user can only accept one invitation to one of these games once per day per device, and the same device can only accept your invitation once per week. That means even if you've built a network of Timu users in your game group or among your friends and family and coworkers, whatever, while well, everyone trading clicks with everyone will help you win faster, eventually, if you really want to go fast, you are going to have to get out there and trade with strangers. And like I said, that's where the real game is here, at least for me. It feels like high level diplomacy or some sort of like prisoner's dilemma. You only have so many clicks. I only have so many clicks. We're both trying to receive as many clicks as possible and we don't know each other. And somebody has to go first. Sounding a little sketchy again? Well, if you are still watching this one, I bet you can appreciate the like carnival like atmosphere to all of this, that edge of potential danger that makes like the Gravitron that much more thrilling. The the challenge of figuring out which games are winnable and what the tricks are. The, the joy of receiving that free giant stuffed animal you never would have bought in the first place. You get it, right? Obviously, there's going to be some dirty dealing in these kinds of forums by accident and on purpose. And that's before you talk about like bots and all the scammers pretending they can teach you how to create infinite new users and print money. If you know, you send them a couple bucks on PayPal. But if you are smart and observant, you can really do well for yourself. I'm always number one by a mile in my like leagues, though lately I've learned to sandbag a little bit more. <laughs> my strategy was to build up a reputation, trading honestly with people. And and have success more than get burnt. And I combined that with those synergy. The farm game has a big water bonus where you collect coins by getting clicks. And the fish game has basically the same thing with like pearls, though it comes and goes, but does have a bigger payout. And if you do that, you're going to be receiving free stuff sooner. Now, like the games, the communities to make these trades also seem to be a moving target. I had some luck on Reddit at first, but Reddit changed the API and went nuts and mods were quitting, subs went dark, etc. It's been weird times on the internet. Seems Musk has finally X'd out Twitter. Uh, also, it's never been hotter and the government's admitting UAPs are built by non-human intelligence. There, there's been a lot of changes lately and I don't think it's going to slow down, gang, so you might as well have some fun while we can, <laughs> right? Sorry. Uh, I found some groups on Facebook but haven't used them because personally, I've done very well for myself searching out Discord servers to trade Timu links in. And I'm sure there are plenty of other places too. Or again, you can just skip all of the games and just buy the stuff you want and get great deals on super cheap stuff. Not quite as fun, mind you, but a lot simpler. Either way, if you're going to check out Timu, please use my link to do so. You'll get even more sweet deals and I'll get a little neat bonus credit so I can acquire even more. Dice. Up next, we're getting back to our usual tabletop role-playing game goodness. I hope I see you there. Until then, be kind and have fun. Bye.